Alright, what's this? Hey guys, so I um, just got another pair of uh, shoes in from FSJ uh, I wanted to share with you. Um, I'm going to admit I took a little peek earlier, uh, but here's basically our unboxing of these. Uh, these took quite a while to get in, um, to the point where I was starting to get concerned that they had gotten lost or there were some problems. So, uh, again, so far still fairly happy with FSJ, but like I said, these took a bit longer and I realized a lot of the stuff's coming straight from China, so that takes some time. Uh, but anyway, so let me show you what we got here. These are you know, these lovely chunky hill boots. And um, I saw these quite a while back. I've uh, been wanting them for quite some time and finally got around to ordering them. So anyways, let's take a look at them. Now again, we've got the same foam insert that I really don't care for, but again, that just seems to be the running thing that we have going on here. And then here's the other one. Um, so like I said, I took a peek, uh, just a little bit before we, uh, had started on this and I was actually noticing some things that I'm really not that pleased with the build of these so far. Um, I still haven't tried them on. I don't know how they fit yet. Uh, we're going to do that together. But anyways, uh, what I started noticing, first thing I noticed is right along this edge right here. I don't know if you guys can see that very well. But right along this edge, there's a little bit of a darkness to it, and I started noticing it along some of these other edges as well. Anyways, so I got to looking, and there's a little bit of a trace line right there, and that just struck me as weird. Then, this one's not the one I noticed it on, um, but it's not near as pronounced in there. But I'm just really not thrilled by how much this uh, can open up right there. Uh, just all the way around, these have a lot of places they can kind of open up and uh, catch debris and just not stay real nice. Uh, this is the one I saw it on. So right there, you can see there's a very clear trace line from where whoever was making it traced where this piece was supposed to go. And I understand doing that, but at the same time, it's like as much as this edge can curl up, it's the likelihood of that showing is really high. So... That's, that's kind of been a big negative to me on these, but we'll, we'll see how they go. Um, yeah, again, the price point's really good on these. Um, I'll have to double check. I'll put a link uh, with these, uh, so if you guys want to get your own pair. Um, again, so far, it is really nice that FSJ, pretty much anything in their catalog, I can get in my size, again, 15. So uh, it's, it's, a, it's a toss up. It's, do I struggle with all these other sites that don't necessarily go big enough? Um, you know, just some th differences we're starting to see. Anyways, um, so I've got this fake fur lining, so these ought to be nice and comfy. Um, stack heel, everything seems pretty rigid here. Um, so far, uh, all of my other FSJ shoes, they've been holding up just fine. So these are the first ones I've really had much concern about. Um, but anyway, so let's go ahead and try them on. Okay, so right off, this one's a little bit snug, but again, nothing that out of the ordinary. And I uh, chose these pants today because I wanted to see how these looked uh, with this tucked look. Uh, really one of the looks I've been wanting to do with these. Okay, they're definitely snug on my ankle. Um, I'm not going to say I've got, I definitely don't have small ankles, um, but I haven't really noticed a lot of things being real tight on my ankle and I would get up into the calf all day long. Boots are always tight on my calf. So 
Um, so yeah, and I haven't started trying to do any of the custom sizing, uh, like with the boots from FSJ, that's probably gonna be one of my next things. Um, but yeah, a little bit snug. Um, but not bad. I mean, honestly, that'll, that'll break in at a time. So, get another little spot right there. Now that one just wiped off. So yeah, these, these little spots here and there where, um, where these marks were left on, uh, just not, not leaving me with the best feeling of these so far, but, uh, fit wise, they feel pretty good. They're, uh, they're even with tight. They're not too short. Um, a little, little snug right across the toes, but again, a lot of that will break in. So, so yeah, what do you guys think? They feel pretty good. They walk very easily. This is a very comfortable heel height. Um, it's actually a little, it's one of those, uh, sort of transitional heights where it's not necessarily high enough to make you think about the heel height, but they're not so low that it completely goes away. Um, for instance, these by comparison, which aren't that much lower, but they've got a little bit of a platform, so it changes that angle. Uh, they feel, I completely forget their heel very quickly. These are probably just high enough to, to constantly have me uh, thinking about the fact that I'm wearing heels. Um, but they're pretty comfortable. Uh, you know, absolutely no padding on the ball, which is pretty normal. Um, maybe one of those where we do one of the ball inserts. And on the carpet, they're kind of slick. The bottom of these, uh, the sole is very slick. You can see it's just a slick plastic. But they're not bad. A little pretty quiet on the concrete, so these are definitely something uh, that would work well if you're uh, not necessarily purple. It might draw more attention for those of you uh, wanting to do the very uh, concealed uh, high heel look where your pants are over top of the whole thing. But they're quiet enough that it's not going to scream, hey, look, I've got heels on. Uh, so they'd work for uh, more, if you're trying to go for that casual, uh, or that, not casual, that very uh, low-key, not very visible look, you can get away with these with a long pair of pants over them. Uh, for me, I, I really wanted these to be able to show them. I'm, I'm liking them with this tucked look with these uh, jeggings. And uh, yeah, so... By all means, uh, if you guys liked the video, please uh, indicate it and uh, leave comments below and I'll answer and respond to any questions anyone has.